सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैप्पी मॉर्निंग टू ऑल माई डियर फ्रेंड्स माई टूडेज टॉपिक इज स्ट्रक्चर एंड बॉन्डिंग ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ए बी बी टी दैट इज बैलेंस बॉन्ड थेरी एंड एम ओ टी दैट इज मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थेरी ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑर्गेनोमेटेलिक कंपाउंड दैट इज द जिस सॉल्ट देर इज वन स्पेशलिटी ऑफ जिस सॉल्ट वॉट इज इट आई विल टेल यू इन फर्दर स्लाइड सो दीज आर द कंटेंट्स विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच वी विल सी इन दिस होल स्लाइड सो फर्स्ट वॉट इज ऑर्गेनोमेटेलिक कंपाउंड then second properties of a organic metallic compound then what is this salt history of a this salt what is the preparation then main part structure on the basis of mot and vbt acknowledgement and all so now we see what is the organic metallic compound before going to the this salt we should know what is organic metallic compound that is the simple combination of, of a r and m r is a organic part which is related to carbon m is a metallic part and what is organic metallic compound if there is a direct bond between r and m that is the organic part and metallic part then it is a organic metallic compound there are some examples that is grignard reagent ferrocene and this salt so we will concentrate about the organic metallic compound there is a one ferrocene structure in which ferrous gets sandwiched between the two carbon rings there is a direct bond between metal ferrous and the carbon of the two rings there are some common property you can see insolubility in the water so it is obvious it will soluble in some organic solvent that is ether and some other solvent it is high it is highly reactivity uh, its uh, reactivity is very high then oxidizability there are various uh, common properties now we have to see what is actually this salt so as you can see it is a potassium trichloroethylene platinate as its name suggests there is a three chlorine which works as a ligand there is one ethylene which is also works as a ligand and platinum is a central metal ion uh, there is a one formula in a yellow color you can see easily potassium is outside of a square bracket that works as a cation and trichloroplatinate and there is one ethylene which is works as an anion if you see in the white structure there is a structure of anion which is stable in a air there is also one thing that is eta rest to two ethylene ligand what is indicate the attachment of a carbon there are two carbon from a ethylene which is directly attached to the metal so it indicates by eta rest to two then there is a one geometry that is the square planar now we should see about the history it is very interesting and funny incident as to actually william christopher jess is the scientist who was working on a well known square planar complex that is tetrachloroplatinate but he was accidentally invent uh, invented one compound that is a this salt which is accident part but it is now it is very important in uh, in organic chemistry how it will be see in further slide so preparation of a this salt it is very important and it's quite simple if we uh, react the that uh, well known square planar complex that is the tetrachloroplatinate uh, with the ethanol it will again form the adduct and adduct will react with the kcl it will again form the this salt that is very important and here is a the function between the pi bonding or the working of a pi bonding is not understood yet but here one thing is confirmed there is a no alpha bonding between metal and the ligand so now this is the simple reaction as i already mentioned ptcl4 react with the ethanol it will form one adduct and when adduct will react with the kcl it will form a this salt which is very important we have to concentrate on it now it is a structure what is the structure what is the arrangement that the c double bond c from the ethylene that is the ethylene ligand arrange approximately perpendicular to the metal ligand bond due to arrangement of a perpendicular it can be rotated and here one important thing that pi bonding is a weaker always weaker than a sigma bonding what is the perpendicular arrangement of a ligand you can see in the structure clearly that is the in the black structure so now what is the this salt what is the anion what is the platinum platinum is the central metal ion according to vbt we should know its electronic configuration its oxidation state according to that we will get idea about the excitation and whole structure so we will see in this further slide ha ah, that is the whole information about the platinum its atomic number is 78 its electronic configuration is zd that is xenon 4f 14 f 14 electron f uh, 14 electrons in f orbital 5d 9 and 6x1 if you can see there are various number of oxidation state due to which platinum can form uh, platinum can form a different type of organometallic compound if you want to see the periodic position so it belongs to group 10 uh, it is belongs to period 6 and it is also belongs to the d block it's a 4d element that is a transition element so now we have to see the micro uh, sorry uh, molecular orbital theory what is the dealing of a molecular orbital theory so we all know that there is a ligand and the working of a ligand to donate the electron donate the pair of a electron so ethylene as a work of a ligand 
so it will definitely donate the electron form a field power orbital to the vacant metal orbital you can see here but there is a one interesting thing take place in a next slide as the electron donated by the ligand that is the ethylene it is simultaneously filled the deficiency of electron and that is why the back bonding take place or synergic interaction take place that is the main part of this slide because this take place only in this case what is the back bonding and what is the synergic interaction uh, it is just whenever the electron donated by the ligand sometime the elect uh, sometime the ligand simultaneously filled the deficiency of electron so it will take again electron back from the metal so if you see here there is a field orbital of a that is d pi field orbital of a metal or it will again donate the electron to, to the anti bonding vacant orbital of the ligand so what is it actually we will see this is the just theory of a back bonding as i already told you in this salt ethylene works as a ligand so it will donate the electron but at after donating the electron simultaneously it fills the deficiency so metal metal contain the uh, d pi field orbital it will again back to the electron to the uh, ligand uh, there are three d pi orbital which is filled in a platinum for, but from that uh, that are namely dxy dyz and uh, dxz but we know there is a one d field pi orbital which is prefer for the back bonding and that is known as a dxy dyz and dxz can also donate the electron but mainly the dxy does the does the working of a uh, synergic interaction then in c2h4 as i have already mentioned the ethylene ligand present in a perpendicular position which is very very useful for a back bonding uh, back bonding and synergic interaction in this way whole the back bonding take place and synergic interaction take place which is very important and i want to mention one main thing that the this salt is the first organometallic compound in which transition metal is present and alkene behave as a ligand so these are the whole references which i have used during making or preparation of this slide first is organometallic chemistry by g s sodi then another organometallic chemistry book and last is d benjera coordination chemistry which is also helpful for doing this ppt uh, so i would like to say thank you to dr jadhav sir they had given chance to me to represent about this zis salt and some inorganic knowledge in front of my dear friends which will definitely helpful for our future i would like to say also thank you to our principal and vice principal sir that they had given chance to us to represent this slide and thank you and be safe